Hello everyone and welcome to Monkey Fish channel. Some time ago I get a request to do Sai versus Katana video and I have tried many times and every time I was disappointed because this weapon do not do well against Katana and I know I am not a master but before doing the sparrings I was study uh, Kobudo forms and watching videos and see the applications and look for the books to see some real techniques and then I try to apply them in the sparring and I know I am not a master and I might be wrong but I play with weapons for some time already so I kind of know something maybe not the best but I know something and yeah let's talk about this weapon Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the Sai. So, few good things what I can see is that it's two of them. So I can block and attack in the same time. Another good thing what I can see is that I can throw one and finish with the second one. And this is pretty much it. If we talk about Sai versus Katana. Because I was trying a size versus weapons with similar size or smaller or a little bit bigger and they wasn't that bad. Uh. Oh, nice. But against Katana, always pretty bad. And 9 out of 10 times going to be dead if you have to face somebody who have a katana and you have a size. <laughs> Normally when you have a longer weapon than your opponent is much easier for you. And here these two size like this, this is still not a size of katana. I have a, a one real uh, Sai here and they normally are not sharp. I'm not talking about this thing because this can be pointy and really sharp in the, on the top. But this is not a blade. I have seen some version of Sai that this was a blade but normally it is a blunt weapon. So you see blunt weapon against super sharp katana. You can give somebody blue mark and he just can cut off your hand so I think is not the best exchange. I was studying uh, Kobudo videos and uh, I was looking for forms, I was looking for uh, applications, I was looking for books uh, to see the uh, techniques with Sai before I did the sparrings and some of them was okay but some of them was pretty bad in my opinion because we're talking about Sai versus Katana. So, for example, this kind of hold, you know, you can block it, boom! Seem pretty cool, pretty legit, but if you talk about katana, guy with katana probably know how to use katana. And if you do this, he would not just stop it, he would just slide it and cut it. When you just try to block it like this, he can just change his direction of cutting here, just go here and you can say bye bye to your fingers. So again, I have seen that some people saying that you should do like this, boom, boom, boom. Yes, this looks pretty cool, but not against Katana. Katana have a longer distance than this and why I should make a even shorter so this looks really cool but not against longer weapon. Probably this is really cool for somebody who have no weapons. Then it's super cool because you cannot break your fist when you're hitting somebody and you will not injure him that much. So you can just explain to police that he was self-defense or something. So, so this is pretty cool like this but not against katana. I could see this kind of grip and I think this grip is even more stupid against katana. Why?
If I have to fight somebody with katana, I would hold my side like this so I can parry the attacks, maybe catch it or do something. But even if you catch it, it's not for long. You can just edit it, but you redirect somebody because if you do like this, he will just slide off and do another move. So it's just for speed second for surprise attack or something. Then you can, you can uh, grab the sword. But if you hold like this, and somebody is going to cut it, then again, you can say bye bye to your fingers. So it's even more stupid. I know this is for some kind of flashy moves, but it's not for fighting against somebody with katana, in my opinion. If we talk about uh, old times, guy with katana going to know how to use katana. If he's going to just see that you try to close the distance, he can just step back and cut you again. For him it's much easier because his weapon is longer and his weapon is sharp. So he has a superior weapon than you. And yeah, I'm going to show you a lot of clips of my sparrings, how I try to use this weapon. I know probably some of you are masters of Sai and going to tell me that I am wrong and stuff like this, but I would like to see you spar against Katana and real sparring when somebody really wants to hit you, not some flow sparring that, okay, I do this and I do this. I don't want to see that. I want to see real sparring, not a drills, not a demos. I want to see a sparring when somebody really wants to hit you. Then, then we can talk because this is how I spar with my friends. We do the same, but still my friend is going to hit me if I do something wrong. And this is how you should train if you wanna really explore weapons and be a master. And I don't wanna be a master, I just play with weapons. So now I'm going to show you clips from my sparrings.
Okay, so this is it. I hope that you enjoy this kind of content and let me know down below in the comment section. And yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time.